and hello boys and girls. And today this is your old pal Uncle Al. And Kino too. <coughs> Uncle Al is not feeling too hot. Just came back from church and didn't work at the food bank Sunday. I don't get paid at the food bank. I volunteer. I wish you get paid. So I only work half day because my doctor says I can work half day for volunteering. Now, I did get a nasty letter in the mail today. Yeah, a couple days before Christmas. I'm going to cover that. And this from the county of Tuolumne. Action of notice. Food stamp termination. Now, Uncle Alan is in help and he only has one eye left to see. And I'm wondering, why would they want to terminate my food stamps? I'm not really healthy, kids. There's about six things that's going to kill me. I'm going blind in this eye. Um, this eye, I got cataracts. So I could still drive. I just don't tell the cops. But Uncle Alan's kind of tired. And when I get paperwork like this, I have to go through with a ringer explaining why I need food stamps. Now I'll pull back my chair. I gotta say thank you for somebody who went to my uh, wish list on Amazon. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful Christmas gift. I got a lab coat. Oh, oh sorry. See, I got a nice lab coat. This will keep me warm. Thank you very much. It's a nice gesture. Uh, what I really hate is I see a lot of guys who can work, but they don't. They drink beer and they eat sauce and corn chips. But Uncle Alan has to decide, hmm, cat food or do I want to really get that pounded hamburger and kind of stretch it out for a week or eat vegetables? Now, Hubble's cat says, vegetarian's wonderful. Yeah, if you get the more expensive stuff, but I have to eat the basic stuff. And right now it's winter, all the seasonal vegetables are gone. So Uncle Alan's eating a little lean. Okay, enough of that. That This video is our friend down south or up north in Washington, pretty soon down south. Uh, it's a blog, FTSH project for Hubble's not Hubble's uh, West Wind Survival. Hey, Ween. Uh, I got a nice coat to keep me warm. That fake fire doesn't keep warm in here. And I had to cut down the gas to about 59 degrees. So oh, that's always wonderful. I think it's sometimes warmer outside than indoors. Now, everybody has one of these. It's a simple case. Sometimes I have one that goes like this. Now, if you get like, I'm going to use some Christmas ribbon. You get some nylon strapping. And what you do is you should sew it inside this part. Okay, because I know you weather workers, weather workers like RG, RG and uh, you put it like that and strip right here, it's sewn down so it's extra strong, glued and sewn. And you got the loose part, you see that? It's holding up like this. So basically, it's covered. And when you need it, you have a little tab right here. This is glued and sewn right here. You have a little tab right here, okay? When you're ready to go, you just pull this. Okay, watch it, kid. And it, whoops, lost my grip. This is what happens when you try to do things on t on editing. I'm found using ribbon. It works better if it was a nylon strap. Anyway, you got this all set up together, and once you pull it, the little strap, it'll pop this out into your hand. Okay, I had to use both, and normally it's on my belt. But anyway. Okay, well, I don't want to hit yeah, my camera or my keyboard, but it pulls it out. Okay, so let's put that away, and then you can have it like this in your hand, faster than lightning. 
Now I have other designs, but if you use the nylon strap method, you could either use it this way, pull the tab out, knife in hand, or you could pull out the other way, knife in hand, that's sideways. I learned this trick from a Filipino guy who showed me in the, in, I think it was the Navy, he was a Navy guy, worked in the Philippines, he was a Filipino. So anyway, well, uh, he was a destroyer guy and showed me, pull it out his belly saw, because sometimes his hands were full and he needed a knife, and it's on his belt and could pull it out just as fast. And if you ever seen a ballet song, that's pretty neat. So anyway, Merry Christmas, kids. I might not do uh, another video until maybe after Christmas. Uh, this one for Bethany, my favorite gamer. Merry Christmas. You got to get that pant dance out. Hubble's cat. Merry Christmas in the North. Great White North. Steve Hubble. Liberty Gardens. If you chop up your uh, gar kitchen waste finer, your compost will compose better. And if you put a layer of um, mulch, you, got, you buy store-bought mulch on top of it, it compose, composes even faster. Harshman Hills, Cindy John, he's Cindy. LS, Daisy, hope you are ready for that. Great winter storm coming up. Thing, uh, Jeep out, cheap things outdoor with John. Hey, John, hope you feel better. Sun does is strange. Now, for those people living in Nebraska, you got a major snowstorm. I talked about this in Will Russell's live stream uh, just in time prepping yesterday. I couldn't figure out the calculations. I got either feet or engines mixed up. So it'd be either eight to ten inches of snow, not feet. Sorry, guys. So anyway, this is your old pal Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog seventy nine, and Gino too. So stop by and say hello. Sign up, like, and subscribe because YouTube is making us small, crippled, old YouTubers. You know, you're not working hard enough. We're sharecropping tactics on all the small little channels. So if you don't make enough, your contents will be gone, your channel will be gone, or you get segmented into a little corner. So you don't have any further content. That's what YouTube said. And YouTube's policy is go after the 13 to 23 year olds. I don't know if these guys are pedophiles or Satanists or something. I'm gone old and tired. So I could tell you friends, stop by to see old Uncle Al out, wear some kind of weird hat, and say hello, crack some jokes, and tell you about your future. Because your future is my past. And Uncle Al doesn't have that much time. So you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay? Bye, folks. And where's the button?